All right, welcome back YouTube. Global anti-natalist video, and I want to talk in this video about uh, why vegan gains arguments about anti-natalism are wrong. First off, I was going to uh, title this video "Unnatural Vegan is at is at it again lying about anti-natalism," but instead. I decided uh, it would be uh, best to highlight Vegan Gaines and his girlfriend's mistakes as to better the future of antinatalism as opposed to uh, highlighting just how hardcore Unnatural Vegan uh, could double down on her extremely fallacious, harmful uh, reasoning of how she thought, you know, the popularity of something by itself made it good or true or correct. Uh, as I highlighted in the last video that I uploaded, which will be linked down in the description as well, uh, if you want to see that video of me crushing everything Unnatural Vegan says about antinatalism, click the link in the description to see, uh, to see that. I mean, she even appeals to normal in the title of the video. <laughs> appeals to popularity, appeals to uh, you know, choice though, appeals to all this other shit. That we're about to explore in this video. First off, this video uh, made Unnatural Vegan practically have an orgasm uh, with uh, and make this video with counter arguments to everything Vegan Gains and his girlfriend said, uh, which was a, basically all fallacious reasoning, like 99% fallacious reasoning. And just to be clear, if Vegan Gains was 99% wrong during this video that he made, and 1% correct, uh, Unnatural Vegan was 100% wrong, not even remotely correct about antinatalism because all she was doing was responding to fallacious reasoning. And then in the two or so arguments that we'll get into later on, where they did actually manage to make a non-selfish argument, uh, Unnatural Vegan had some of the most bafflingly cognitive dissonant thoughts to add to that that I could possibly imagine. Um, Things like comparing motorcycles to children, saying like that um, having a child is the same selfishness as having a motorcycle or, or playing video games. I'm not even kidding. Motorcycles. We recently uh, just got two motorcycles. Yeah, that's pretty selfish. Now that we're like two minutes in, we'll, we'll cite the argument for those of you that have never heard a global antinatalist argument before. Antinatalism is the argument that death, loss, confusion, pain, and anguish happen to absolutely every single person verbatim, which they do. Death, loss, confusion, like loss of your loved ones, loss of yourself, confusion that leads to creating more people so that they could die and be experience loss and need. Yes, there are experiences of love and light fluffy feelings of attention. Uh, however, you can experience those things without making more people uh, by simply enjoying the people that are already here. Uh, so why then would you cause more death, loss, confusion, pain, and anguish? Uh, why would you cause the harms? Why would you cause the serious harms by bringing a person into existence? There's basically two reasons that people bring people into existence. One is that uh, they are uh, miscalculating, like they just made a really awful miscalculation. And two is the more likely one that they were just a consequence of sexual intercourse. 99% uh, of the arguments being said by Vegan Gaines and his wife are simply selfish arguments, which uh, I will show the flaws in in this video. Uh, Vegan Gaines and his wife were essentially saying uh, the child was loud, annoying, smelly, etc., which are all things that can be solved simply and are not a reason in, in and of themselves to avoid uh, having a child uh, because their personal choice. Okay, we're gonna get to that. This is not at all an attack on those who choose not to have kids, nor is it an attempt to convince Richard and Jasmine to have children, uh, given their obvious disdain for parenting and really just like kids in general. Uh, it's pretty clear that they should not have kids. Two breeders brought their uh, children to uh, a vegan restaurant with them. Breeders, because that's not alienating at all. You know, that's a that's a really good way, I think, to convince people. For Vegan Gaines' anger, like, what do you want people to say? Like, uh, this has nothing to do with antinatalism. I mean, he's using descriptive language. Like, what? <laughs> he shouldn't use the descriptive language. I mean, it's not like, it's not like a huge number of people have 
have children or anything. Seems effective. Uh, their one-year-old kid was screaming at the top of his lungs. Multiple people actually told the uh, waitress there that they were being annoying. Uh, Jasmine went over and uh, told them to keep their kid under control, and then they started a big fight with us. They literally told me that, like, they take priority over everyone else. If yeah. anyone has a problem with their children being rude or whatever in public, they're the ones who have to leave, not them. And uh, the lady's husband or whatever, like... He got really aggressive. He was getting aggressive with you, and he started screaming at me, too. So I challenged him to a fight outside, <laughs> and then after that, he kind of started acting more polite. <laughs> well, that's just... Uh, just but like this video goes on for 21 more minutes. We'll we'll cut into the like it's 21 more minutes of just this. It was loud, and I didn't like it basically. And then uh, probably I don't know three minutes total or two minutes total of um, of uh, non selfish argumentation uh, that was totally botched and could have been better, which we'll get into. There are two primary things wrong with their arguments. Firstly, personal choice, though, and secondly, it is false dilemma, though, which they could both technically be false dilemma, but for the sake of uh, ex explanation, we are going to focus on two things, personal choice and false dilemma and why they are never arguments. So here we go. Firstly, uh, personal choice by itself is not a valid argument ever. Uh, by this same logic of personal choice, though, you would justify eating animal products uh, by saying, it's my personal choice to drink milk. Does that make stabbing cows in the neck good and true and correct? No, obviously not. Uh, it makes it none of those things. Personal choice by itself can never be a valid argument. Another example uh, would be what we are what they are doing right now which is my personal choice to not have children because they are a loud nuisance this is what vegan gains and his wife are essentially saying the reason this argument is personal choice is because there are other solutions or choices for the nuisance uh, for instance you can solve the, uh, the kids problem with a binky or by making it laugh instead, or by introducing something interesting for the child, like a toy or something like that, okay? So, uh, but the way Vegan Gains displays his argument is that it's a burden and a personal choice for him and Salad Goat to not partake rather than uh, solve the burden. My argument for antinatalism uh, is instead centered around the fact that a human or animal will be guaranteed to experience serious harm if they are born into existence. So why would you create that harm? Uh, given the circumstances, I understand vegan gains and salad goats discomfort, but personal choice alone is not a valid reason to make a decision uh, at all, ever. Personal choice alone never makes something good or true or correct or even false. Uh, it is just not an argument. Uh, they simply did not understand the potential consequence of making a decision upon personal choice alone. Um, you could ultimately justify absolutely any act or mistake of total horror by simply saying, it's my personal choice though. Uh, that would never make your choice good or true or correct by itself. Uh, you would have to agree that someone murdering someone else was good or true or correct based on purely personal choice, which is not good, okay? okay. So personal choice cannot be utilized as an argument, as a valid piece of reasoning ever. So uh, number two is that there is a false dilemma. So we're on to the second part, which is technically this whole first part, but we're just going to, for the sake of uh, explaining things, uh, a false dilemma that is centered around uh, the fact that only 1% of this 21 minute long video right here that Vegan Gains and Salad Goat made uh, had any arguments that had to do with the selflessness behind not having a child. And they had pure, they were purely, almost purely selfish reasons for not having a child, like burden, um, you know, uh, 
smelly, loud, annoying, you know, all these other little fucking fucktarded things that don't really, they suck, but, you know, they're not unfixable, okay? Like, death is, like, loss is uh, of yourself, of loved ones. Uh, like, anguish is, like, pain is, like, confusion, all those things. Totally verbatim of every single person watching this video will experience that. Why would you make more of that by uh, making future progeny? Okay, uh, you are the you have the choice after watching this video whether or not you are the progenitor of things like cancer. Okay, fifty percent of people. We'll just rattle off a couple more arguments for global antinatalism. Fifty percent of people are that are born will have cancer. Thirty three percent of them will die of cancer. That's a three sided dice you roll that your future child, your future progeny, will die of cancer. So if you're going to make a child knowing these types of statistics, you should at least uh, say that you want your child and you're okay with your child having cancer. And that, uh, you know, you are also okay with 50% uh, of people uh, having cancer and 33% of people dying of cancer, okay? So it's just insane. The, th it's the things that you have to start agreeing to uh, when you start to try to justify existence on the basis of coming into existence is always a serious harm and simply not coming into existence is not a serious harm uh, are just astronomical. Um, one in out of four people that are born have a mental disability according to the World Health Organization. One in four people have a mental disability of some kind. That is a absurd amount of... Uh, and if you have a child, you roll a dice that says, well, I think that my child should have a one in four chance of having a mental disability. You know, you're making that choice for that child, so I, all I'm saying is why would you do that? All right? Uh, when you could just experience all the love and life fluffy feelings of attention and things that you value without making more of this potential for devastating cost uh, of something like that, okay? I believe Vegan Gaines during his video made some sort of argument about autism, uh, but you want to really drive home uh, uh, these facts, okay? So you want to say, you want to draw a, a, a something that is going to not be personal, all right, something that is going to apply to um, to everyone and anyone that could possibly hear it, because people do make choices based on personal choice. Though, unfortunately, uh, it is it is absolute morondom. So we we got to fix that shit uh, to move forward uh, with antinatalism, which is the most important and true and correct philosophy that exists uh, for stopping suffering, pain, and anguish and loss. Okay. And even if your child is okay, what about their children, or their children's children, or their children's progeny, or the progenitors of their future children, and so on, for the rest of time, or however long it takes the human race to go extinct? Think for a moment how much, how much you will cause. You would inevitably, the vast majority of the horrors of like rape and murder and torture and loss and confusion and death and pain, all of those things, every single type of those things too, you would cause eventually if you have a child and they have more children and so on and so forth till the end of time. Please advocate for antinatalism. Thank you. Having children is selfish. There's so many children that yeah. don't have any home or parents. Well, definitely. Um, Just adopt. Not adopting could be selfish. Like, let's say that you have the resources to adopt a kid, but instead you choose to waste that money on, I don't know, video games. I like being being able to play video games whenever I want. Motorcycles. We recently uh, just got two motorcycles. Yeah, that's pretty selfish. All right, so this being said, now we can get to the fact that when Vegan Gaines and his girlfriend did manage to create one or two non-selfish arguments, uh, that one should adopt instead of pop a baby out. A natural vegan decided to compare human life 
as a similar selfishness to purchasing a motorcycle and video games. Which shows and speaks for itself in the type of baffling cognitive dissonance we are dealing with here in Unnatural Vegan. So, there you go. I mean, you know, obviously, I mean, if 99% of what Vegan Gaines and his girlfriend said was, uh, you know, ill-informed, fallacious reasoning, uh, 100% of what Unnatural Vegan was saying was totally wrong about antinatalism. Baby is kind of like a cat. They'll kind of play with anything. But again, we get the toys because we want to, because it makes us feel good. It makes me so happy to watch baby play with something new. A lot of children are accidents. Like, don't do that to your fucking kid. It's not like... Definitely. The, ch the children are not asking you to bring them into the fucking world. Well, so absolutely, we want people planning their pregnancies, right? We want rates of unplanned pregnancies to drop. It is so much safer all around to plan a pregnancy. No, the only way you could have a good plan for a pregnancy is to not have a pregnancy. <laughs> not, not bring a person into the world ever. Uh, or at the very least, try to take every precaution you possibly can. A bisectomy is the best possible option. I have a lot of videos in the antinatalism playlist talking about bisectomies. If you would like a link to one of those videos, please just comment down below, and I'll link it to you right then and there, some information about them, okay? Uh, you can still enjoy all of the pleasures of it. Okay, thank you for listening. <laughs>